Today on MTG Unpacked, it's Double Masters 2022 time. So we're getting stuck into a whole draft booster box, but before we do, let's take a little quick look at the promos here. So we've got Bring to Light and Weathered Wayfarer. So I've got a whole bunch of these and also I think it's a thing running if you buy a certain map from your local game store. You get a soul ring with the old school border. So very cool. So let's get into this. So if you're familiar with Double Masters, you get the two rares or mythics and two foils per pack. This set is crammed with insane value. And what does this do? That's pretty cool. And on the other side, draft archetypes. So in case you were actually drafting this set, instead of just cracking the packs. So what have we got in here? Imperial Seal is the big one. Mana Vault, Renan 6, Dockside Extortionist, Cavern of Souls, and a whole lot more, including some Liliana. So let's get to cracking. So see which way around things are. So we start off here with the token. So we've got a Sapling Cryptic Spires. So this is something used for drafting. So like a dual land thing and you circle the colors at the bottom. Okay, first foil, we have Mana Leak. We've got Ambuscade and the rare is Elsha of the Infinite. All right, and Mathis Fiend Seeker. And let's have a quick squiz. Oh, this is cool, Celestia Sanctuary. So we'll pull out the borderless cards as well. I don't think there's a lot of value in the common and uncommon slot. So that should speed things up a bit. So we've got a spider, cryptic spires, foil, supernatural, stamina, God's willing, and sensei's divining top. That's fun. So we actually pulled one of these out of a Kamigawa Neon Dynasty pack today, if you saw that video earlier. And Impervious Great Worm. And let's see, anything cool? I'm probably skipping over, oh that's pretty cool, Monastery Swift Spear. Alright, so which card are you most excited about in this set? I know most people are going to say Imperial Seal, but maybe there's another one you're looking forward to. Let me know. Summer Bloom. Awesome artwork there. I think that's new for this set. Hero of the Games and Micaeus the Lunark. Intet the Dreamer. So I will say there are a bunch... Oh, that's pretty cool. Seeker of the Way. We'll set that aside. There's a bunch of... Um, oh, and a Burning Tree Emissary. Holy moly. There's a bunch of value in this set. Um, except there are also a bunch of bulky mythics. So hopefully we don't pull too many of those. We have a worm. Cryptic Spires. Bloodwater Entity. Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs. And Damnation! Yes! And Ashen Rider. Okay, so no mythics as of yet. So let's hope, I think normally each row in here, in the boxes, you would normally get a mythic or two. <laughs> I like this boar token. That's pretty cool. And a Cryptic Spires washout for the foil. Sensor Splicer and a mythic. There we go, Bitter Blossom. Along with Rurik Thar, the Unbowed. And a whole bunch more. Uh, we will be slowing down a little bit next week and going through commons and uncommons and stuff. But today, it's all about blazing through the box, hunting for the cool cards. So, Spider, Cryptic Spires, Strands of Undeath, and Hyena Umbra. Also got a Boar Tusk Liege, Goblin Knight, and Revelark. And speaking of goblins, I am a big fan of goblins. And we got a lightning bolt chucked in there as well. So, uh, yeah, if you missed my goblin collection video, it's a bit out of date at this point. But uh, we did that, I'm going to say, a couple of years back. 
link in the corner in case you like your goblins as well. We've got a Sapling Cryptic Spires Livewire Lash and Fiery Fall and a Mythic Seasoned Pyromancer. Okay, and Lavalanche and a troll. Yes, we have been trolled people. It happens from time to time. All right, so a third of the way through the box. Better Blossom is a decent mythic, but I don't think it's in the top 10. So let's continue. We've got a Burning Tree Emissary in foil. Shadowborn Apostle. Nice, I didn't even know that was in the set. A Borderless Vidalcan Orrery. Atla, Atla Palani Nest Tender. And I think that one is like a character from Ixalan. Oh, Rampant Growth. We'll set that aside. Okay, let's continue here. And I don't think I'm popping up any prices in this video. Uh, because they'll be immediately out of date as soon as I upload the video. So we'll wait for things to settle down a bit. But an Elemental, Cryptic Spires, Thrumming Stone in Foil. Once upon a time, this was about 40 bucks or more. And a Militia Bugler. We've got Glen Alendra Liege. Wiltleaf Liege. And some other cool stuff. I feel a bit bad about skipping through the commons and uncommons. I really love the magic artwork. I want to see if they've got anything new. But we don't have time today. We've got a Spider and Settle Beyond Reality. Ingenious Scarb and Disciple of the Ring, Yaheni Undying Partisan. That was a cool one back in the day. Had him in a bunch of decks. And we get a Krizali Pride Mage. So three Borderless and stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll be getting stuck into some collector packs. Those things are ridiculously expensive. You just get four packs per box. So... Yeah, a couple of boxes, that's about it. Okay, Sapraling Cryptic Spires, Rift Bolt for the foil, Carrier Thrall, the Mimeoplasm. Okay, I think that's what that uh, slime creature was we saw earlier, Magister Sphinx. Okay, so yeah, a bunch of cool cards stuffed in here. Not all of it has much value though, because they are reprinting a bunch of things. That's really the point of these. Master's sets. Oh, a cat dragon. That's an awesome token. Didn't they have those in that uh, dragon deck from 2017, the commander deck? I think it might have been. Glory Scale via Shino, Cruin Striker, and Gifts Ungiven, a bit like the Mythics in here. Hostage Taker. That was a huge card back in the day. Pretty crazy. Had a lot of games, I think. Wasn't that the one you were uh, stealing creatures or something? Yeah, exiling. That's pretty cool. And a bear token. Foil Kazali Pride Mage. Avon Initiate. And Ashenmore Liege. Along with Bedlam Reveler. Devil Horror. For a second I thought that was a sliver. The shape of the head. Looked a little sliver-like. We do get a Monastery Swift Spear. We'll set that aside. Okay, so over halfway through now. Where are the heavy hitters? Is this box going to be a dud? I really hope not. We've got a Spider, Cryptic Spires, Foil, Abzan, Falconer, Relief, Captain, and Colligan's Command for the rare, along with Figure of Destiny. Okay, a little bit uninspiring. What is this? We've got Wall of Omens. Okay, set that aside. And we have a bit of an avalanche going on here. Let's fix that pile. So how did you do? Have you opened any packs of Double Masters 2022? Any insane pulls? Let me know in the comments. Any uh, textured cards? I think they're in the collector packs. We've got a boar. Cryptic Spires, Sprouting Thrinax, Experiment 1, and Attacker's Command, Hydroid Crasis. That was another crazy one. They've really stuffed in as much craziness in this set as they can. 
So that's probably how they think they can justify the box prices. So US dollars, you're looking at about 300 bucks for these. Uh, hopefully that will settle down a bit, but I doubt it. We've got a zombie. Thoughts go up. Foil. Knightly Valor. And a Mythic Dragon Lord Dramoka. The third Mythic has been pulled. Skullbriar the Walking Grave. It's a cool commander card. And what is this? Small Drifter. Nice. I like the uh, borderless artwork. And Spell Pierce. Another borderless. Two in one pack. Can't complain about that. Although I guess we could. We could say we would rather have a mythic borderless. We've got a spider. Kazmina's transmutation. Living lightning. Alesha who smiles at death. Uh, what is this one? Verena Lich Queen. Come on. Oh, there's the Mold Drifter again. Any borderless snow? Okay. I'm starting to lose hope. I'm hoping this isn't a pile of trash. We've got a Fairy Rogue. And a Monastery Swift Spear in foil. We do like to have uh, cards flying around everywhere. Martial Glory. Anger of the Gods. Dark Steel Plate. And there's a bunch of stuff here you like. That's like a crazy 10 or $20 pool. He's just tossing it aside. Yes. We are after the big kahunas. Where's like a, a Kozalek or Cavern of Souls or Liliana or something. Or um, Imperial Seal is reprinted here at last. We've got a zombie. Crackling Doom. Disfigure. Fire Song and Sunspeaker. I think that uh, used to be a buyer box promo. Villainous Wealth. Surreal Memoir. Ooh, Flicker Wisp. Nice. And no. Oh, another Burning Tree Emissary. Lots of borderless art. Okay, on the home stretch. I don't know, people. Is this the worst box you've ever seen? Uh, let me know. We've got an egg. Cryptic Spires, Eternal Witness. Okay, Borderless Foil, that's more like it. We'll chuck that in the Borderless Pile. Goblin Banneret and Grim Flayer for the rare. Balefire Liege. And anything else? Nope. Last four packs. Um, yeah, so I think I just... Uh, through 300 bucks down the toilet. Crap. Literally. We've got a Foil Coiling Oracle. Perforos's Emissary. Pithing Needle. Reprinted again. Campbell Console of Allocation. And no Borderless in that lot. So we've only got three Mythics, which means... Normally a booster box you'll get about five mythics, five or six maybe. So I'm hoping these last few packs, we've got Azorius Chancery, Eel Umbra, Anguished Unmaking, and Twin Flame. Yeah, things are looking rather grim here. I don't know, this is one of the weaker boxes. I did see another one, watched a video, I think it was Booster Tutor. Um, he had a so-so box. This could be worse than that. A zombie and heroic reinforcements. Last breath. Oh, and gave Guru of Spores. Another mythic. There we go. Legion's Initiative. And what else? Oh, Coiling Oracle. Like the artwork on that. Who is that? Uh, Richard Kane Ferguson. Okay. He has a very distinctive style, doesn't he? Okay, last pack. I think we've been totally wrecked, unless there's an Imperial Seal here. So we've got Ren and Six. Cryptic Spires. Foil Glen Alendra Liege. Balustrade Spy. And a Mythic Alenda the Dusk Rose. Fantastic artwork. 
Borderless, that is incredible. Okay, I'm a little bit happier. And Cedrus, the Trader King, another Mythic, so a two Mythic pack. We've got the Inquisition of Kozilek. Any other borderless cards? Oh, Eternal Witness is reprinted yet again. Okay, so this box, I'm going to say decidedly below average. Let me know in the comments how you did. And stay tuned tomorrow. We've got the collector packs coming up. Can't wait for that. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.